You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. And the world is not prepared. Truman needs to know what's next. Two. What's next? One. All right, guys. The moment that you've been waiting for is finally arrived. Not just we got a second trailer to the two movies that came out, coming out next, I'm sorry, coming out this year, which is another than Red 1, which is a action Christmas movie, which I really hope guys were definitely looking forward to see that movie. And of course, we got a sequel based on the 2000 movie, which is another than Gladiator, which is another than Gladiator 2. But this time, we got a official teaser trailer based on one of my most anticipated movie of 2025. It's not because that Thunderbolt is like an MCU version of the Suicide Squad, but it has to be because yet is she is back, baby. Woo-wee! What the sitch, everyone? Just your good old nibber, Nick Hicks, Spider-Verse, and Frozen 2, and Cam Possible Fan 2001, and you don't know I am about to do a video about it because I'm very looking forward to it. Because honestly, guys, not just we got a second trailer of Red 1, and of course of Gladiator 2, which I'm going to talk about it in a few minutes, but we got a official teaser trailer of Thunderbolt. What the heck are we waiting for? Let's begin this double trailer review started. Here we go! Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Even it's not Christmas, but I was just saying as the comedy purposes. So hey guys, so the main reason why I say ho 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 Merry Christmas, we will talk about a second trailer to the movie that I am very excited to see, which is better than Red 1. It's even better than the first trailer, because the first trailer was really okay, honestly. It didn't give me hype at all, honestly. But the second trailer got me hype one bit. Because this film works absolutely incredible, man. Because the story works way better. Because even the story is just like the same thing from the first trailer. But the second, it just did it justice. Because the story is all about Santa Claus got kidnapped. Uh, played by, jo I'm sorry, played by uh, J.K. Simmons. Mm. I almost call him Jojo Fink. Oh my god. Anyway, let's try again. Anyway, the story is all about Santa Claus, played by J.K. Simmons, and Lucy Lane, uh, the characters, telling Chris Evan to rescue Santa Claus, I mean, uh, before the time will be wasted for Christmas. So that's why Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. The Walk characters, team up with Chris Evan characters and save Christmas and, and rescue Santa Claus. And of course... We got a female character, and please do not tell me that she's a, a reference to the movie from Blumhouse, which is another than Megan. Yeah, please do not tell me they completely made a knockoff version of Megan. And I gotta say, woo-wee! Anyway, guys, and that Polar Bell is really hilarious. He's even better than that Polar Bell played by John Cena and that do it. Do little movie. Oh my god, I don't want to talk about that movie. So let's, let's move on before I get a trigger on that movie back in for four years ago. Anyway, guys, so the story looks very interesting. The characters works, looks incredible. And the action scene looks really cool, honestly. And I won't I won't be seeing this film in theaters because I'm saving my money to go see a way better movie like The Lord of the Wing, The War of the Hero, which is... I mean, which is going to be my very first Lord of the Wings movie I will ever watch in theaters and Sonic the Hedgehog 3. But in the second of all, I, I don't normally see, see movie, I mean, see movie on the holiday season because, you know, the snow. Because I'm literally thinking that Elsa, which she's not the real, real character, but I was just saying it as an expression. So I'm probably Elsa will give snow once again, and I'm very afraid that we are not going to get snow on Christmas. 
yeah, that's the one thing I don't want to mention that. Anyway, guys, so I don't normally see film on the holiday season because of the snowstorm, which I really hope we don't have a snowstorm on the site. But honestly, I have no idea what is my last movie I saw in the holiday season. Like, I don't know, the movie that came out seven years ago, which none than Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Or even the movie that came out five years ago, which none than the Star Wars, The Lies... The Rise of the Skywalker, oh my god, which is the worst Star Wars, Star Wars sequel i ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's even worse than Attack of the Clone. But anyway, honestly, Attack of the Clone is the worst Star Wars movie, but Rise of the Skywalker is in a close second. I don't want to think about that freaking movies. So yeah, that was my thought on the new second trailer for Red One. Cannot wait to... Cannot wait to watch this film online, because this is not my type of film I would definitely see in videos. But this film... Is going to be a the most wonderful time of the year. Do you know that song by Andy William? Anyway, let's move on. On May 5th, 2000, the legend was born. The first Gladiator movie is not just is the best Ruby Scott movie, but it is honestly. One of my number one favorite movie of the 2000s. Yup, even better. Just like American Psycho and the Elvis New Groove. And of course, Meet the Parent. Starting um, um Ben Snyder and Robert De Niro. Almost forgot their name for a moment. But after 24 years later, I mean later, we got a sequel based on the 2000 film that everyone was really... Love and the first grade of the movie got it got a um a best picture winning at the Academy Award back in two thousand one. So the movie I am talking about, which is another than grade or two. So I am talking about the second trailer that came out that came out the same day as the first teaser trailer for the movie, which I will talk about in a few minutes. Which is the movie that I just think is really unnecessary. Why like, do we really need a sequel to the Gladiator? When you watch a first movie, when you saw the main character die in the ending, I gotta said, is this really un sorry? Is this really necessary that you're gonna do a sequel, Ruby Scott? Even I like Ruby Scott. Even he just directed the first Gladiator movie back in twenty four years ago. But I was just saying. Do we really need a greater sequel? But I was just saying. Because I already know I sound like some people sound like a broken record. But I was just saying. So what do I think about the second trailer of Greater the Two? I really think this is way better than the first trailer. Why? It's because of the fact that this trailer did not put a freaking raps on. Because that was my problem on the first trailer. Because I'll probably remember the, the first trailer when they have the rap song. Tell me in the mind. Tell it all in the sea. I'm really sorry I didn't remember the lyrics. But I, which one I don't give a darn. Anyway, that is the same song they play in the TV spot of Safe House. Do you remember Safe House? Starting uh, Deja Washington and Ryan Winnell. The movie that came out 12 years ago. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, I don't want a freaking rap song in the drama film like this. Because, right, come on, it's supposed to be a drama action film. Not a freaking rap song that you put in the drama in the drama action film. This is not 8 Mile by Eminem, you know. Anyway, guys, so top of that, this trailer is way better than the first trailer, which I already told you why. I don't want to be like a broken freaking record. Because, anyway, the story looks really impressive. The character looks incredible. And the cast is really incredible, honestly. Because that's all I gotta say, so stay tuned for my review on the first Gladiator film leading up to this movie right there. So this film is my second most anticipated movie anticipated movie on November of the year behind with Moana 2 because I'm looking forward to Moana 2 more than Gladiator 2, honestly. So I'm looking forward to the Gladiator 2. Let's hope. Let's hope this film will not be disappointing, and I really hope this film will not bomb the box office because, yeah, this film is coming out the same day as Witch Part 1. The movie starting, um, um, what's her name again? Oh, yeah, uh, We on the Grande. So, are you tell me that the musical movie is coming out the same day as Gladiator 2, it will be like Bobby Heimer all over again. Which is really good, by the way. So, yeah, that was my thought on the second trailer for Grey Editor 2. 
Whoopi Scott, you better not, you better not screw this up. Oh, oh, this ain't gonna be pretty for a great little fan. I already know that people would definitely disagree with me on my number one movie that I am very looking forward to, which I'm probably some people will say, Nick, you are forgetting Zootopia 2. Guys, I did not forget Zootopia 2. I wasn't born yesterday and I'm not freaking stupid. But I was decided which movie I will put in my number one most independent movie from next year. You don't own my YouTube channel and you don't own myself. So let's talk about one of my most independent movie of 2025, which is next year, by the way, kids. Which is none other than the movie that I am very looking forward to. It's not because of Thunderbolt. It's going to be like the MCU version of the Suicide Squad. But my girl, Yetis, she is back, baby. Woo-wee! Anyway, so the movie I'm talking about, which is none other than Thunderbolt. Even this, I'm sorry, even this trailer is feel like I'm watching A24 movie. But I don't have a problem with that because I like movie to be A24 movie. But if I hear these crown that people said that, oh, Thunderbolt is kind of me of watching a Marvel television. <sighs> Giving the television the skills. Yeah, that's what I thought. So anyway. Anyway, guys, I'm very looking forward to see this movie. Like, the story looks very interesting. The characters is all back. Like, yeah, it is. Tax Max, so I really hope she will get a way better redeemed character than what she done in Black Widow movie back in two years ago. And of course, Ghost, which is the second most underrated female villain ever for a Marvel Cinematic Universe behind with the villain from Deadpool Wolverine. Which I am so glad that Ghost is back. And I'm really, I am so happy that my boy, John Walker, the same guy that you have a Captain America shield that have blood on it. Yeah, that's that's the character I'm talking about. So he got a new shield since he got his Captain America shield taken away from Falcon the Winter Soldier. And now Falcon is a new Captain America. But just like just like Thunderbolt said, you may be Captain America, but you're not Steve Rogers, which is the best line from Brave Brave New War trailers. And of course we got my my guy, the Winter Soldier. He did a same action scene just like the Winter Soldier movie that came out 10 years ago. After 10 years, he's doing the same thing with the vehicle. And yet if, and yet this was right. She said, that's not good. And honestly, and you see Winter Soldier was shooting in the vehicle. And the vehicle slowly upside down. And boom, the trail was over. And of course, I watched this trailer on IMAX. Which, I watched it on IMAX version on YouTube because... For now on, I'm just going to watch some of the MCU movie, like a lot of the MCU movie and IMAX. So I really hope I will definitely get the chance to see this film in theaters. I really hope I can see footage peers on the big screen since Dune 2 because I like Yetis. Yetis, she's honestly one of my second favorite female character crush of the Marvel Cinematic Universe behind with Black Widow from the Avengers film. So hey guys, that was my thought to one of my most independent movie of 2025, which is another Thunderbolt. Anyway, guys, so I am excited about this film. And this film is my most independent main movie of 2025. But this is, I mean, and this will be one of my favorite MCU movie ever. Yeah, I'm going that far. But honestly, I can't say it until on May 2nd. So, hey guys, so Thunderbolt is the perfect way to end my double trailer review. And yet is... I really hope I will definitely see you on the big screen for the first time for the Marvel Cinema Universe. Love you. <laughs> I am so sorry about the weirdness. Like, just deal with this. My YouTube channel, I can do what the heck I want. Just call me a break. Call me a swag, would ya? Anyway, guys, so that was my double true review on Red 1, Gladiator 2, which I have a mixed feeling about it now. And then we did talk about one of my most anticipated movie of 2025, which is another than Thunderbolt. So the only trailer we need to get, which is another than we need an official teaser trailer 
for Zootopia 2 and the Spongebob movie 4 or 5, Searching for Squarepants. I am so curious about that film, by the way. And I really want to see a teaser trailer for the new Netflix film called The Plankton in the Movie. I really hope that film will be a lot better than the Sandy Cheek movie, more like a butt cheek movie, because that film was a Dumbo, Texas movie. So let's hope Plankton in the movie will not have the same style, just like of uh, the Sandy Cheek. I don't want to see some of the storyline is all about Rex shooting like we already seen it like a million times. It's still, it's getting still now, you idiot. Sorry guys. So tell me what's your opinion on the trailer of Red One, Gladiator Two, and of course Thunderbolt, aka one of my most exciting movie of 2025. Comment below and let me know, and stay tuned for more videos in the future. And I got to remind you to you guys. I already know I said. Uh, sorry, I already know I said that in my spoiler review of Transformers One. I will not do any video on Wednesday. That's why I won't do any video on Wednesday because I'm gonna be pretty busy and I don't want to tell you. So it's private. So yeah. Anyway, guys. So um, honestly, I just want to remind you before you get really freaked out. But my next live stream, which another, I mean, I mean, um, my next live stream is gonna be on September 26. It's gonna be at seven. It's gonna be end at ten. I mean, no, 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 no. It's gonna end at nine. So yeah, honestly, it's gonna be the beginning at seven. It will end at nine. So like nine fifty. I mean, 955, maybe. Let's see. Anyway, guys, so this is Nick Hicks, Spider Verse, and Frozen 2, and Kim Possible Fan 2001 signing off, and you guys have a great night.